Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started tonight. I'm so <coughs> excited to see all your beautiful faces. Welcome to Team Talk. And if you are new, um, it's just part of Team Transformers meet up every Monday night at 9 Eastern. We love seeing each other. Part of going to conference or going to boot camps or regional is that we all just have such a great time together. We learn from each other. And um, the name Team Transformers is because that's what we do. We transform people's lives. And I love that, Tony. Tony says, hey. Anyway, um, we have an awesome agenda tonight where we're going to hear from our other team members. And in one of our books that we've read, The 45 Second Rule, 45 Second Something, um, talks about how when you get a bunch of us together, it's like a sizzle, you know? So there's just a dynamic that happens when the community all talks to each other. So that's really what I wanted to encourage in our community is for you guys to learn from each other. So first off, we're going to congratulate Holly Lake for getting to HLP and beyond. And she's going to share with us what's got her excited. She is the newest person who we're going to be showcasing tonight, having her speak. And I just love new person excitement. There's nothing better, you know? And so when I spoke to Holly, I was like, oh, she's just a diamond because she's so excited and she gets it. And, you know, you could, what we do is we go out and we tell everybody, right? But then there's those people that really get it. And I think it doesn't even sometimes matter about the monetary benefit. It's when you find somebody that really gets it. That, that's I'm in what I'm looking for. You know? A thingy right now. I'll, I'll do it in a minute. Okay, yes, she'll do it in a minute. I'm going to mute T. Okay, so go ahead, Holly. And um, we just want to hear a little bit of your excitement. What are you excited about? I was going to tell, can I tell a little bit about my path first? Is that okay? Okay, so um, I'm a mom of two. Um, I live in Lancaster, PA, and I would say my purpose are my children. That's what I live for day in, day out. Um, I, my son is 12, and he was diagnosed with autism, ADHD, a sensory disorder um, in first grade, and um, that's when my life kind of took a um, turn when I started learning about food and nutrition. Um, they had him on some medications that um, were trying to help with all his um, how, how can I say that without saying all his issues and things, um, but it didn't help him. It made things worse. It made behaviors worse. So I was trying to find a way to treat him naturally. So I went to food and I started doing research myself, trying to figure everything out and how to do this because doctors are like, he's not allergic to anything. Um, they really couldn't help me. Um, so I just kind of took that on my own to do that. Um, he was in school and about about third or fourth grade and things started going downhill uh, to move and things turned bad. Um, so, so I decided it was enough and I pulled him out of school and started homeschooling about three years ago. Um, so I had to give up my um, full-time job. I worked in an autism support classroom for um, nonverbal children and I loved it. My passion is helping people. That's what I love to do. And I was helping these kids communicate. So it broke my heart a little bit, but my son comes first. Um, so anyway, my, I have two degrees or psychology and interior design, because again, I liked helping people. So I was either going to make houses pretty and help people, or I was going to help people with their lives and make them happy. I wasn't sure which way, but I knew I would help people in that way. Um, so I decided to go back to my interior design roots and I opened up a craft business. Um, so I would work in my garage around teaching my son around my kids activities. I'm staining, cutting wood, sanding wood, and then I would prep everything and I would do classes. Um, sorry, I'm talking really quick. Um, I would do classes in the evening and on weekends, um, but I was wearing myself down pretty quickly. But the best part was one of my classes, a girl named Allison that was all happy, showed up and talked about Juice Plus and was telling me about it. And I heard her and I believed her and I knew it was the right thing. But at that moment, I couldn't absorb what she was saying. Um, I think I was really scared of failing because I always, I was feeling like a failure anyway. I'm like, I'm not being a good mother. I'm not being a good um, wife. I'm not being, I'm not just doing everything in my life that I need to do because I'm just surviving day to day. One thing to the next, drinking coffee, getting through the afternoon, getting through the evening. And I was just so scared to fail at one more thing. I just kind of like, left it in my mind, but didn't follow through with her. 
Um, so it's just one of those things I was just, I, I was, and she was so good and so patient with me and she always would send me invitations and things like that. So um, with all, saying all that, um, my daughter was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. And at that point, I kind of said, you know, whoa, I need to take a step back. I'm doing everything that I feel I should do. I'm working very, very hard. Um, I'm trying to take care of my children, I'm supporting in every way I can, but I'm not being here. I'm not being present. I'm not um, fixing the meals I should be fixing for my children. So it's really funny because all this like <clears throat> happened and then they um, email from Allison that says, Hey, and I'm like, Oh my gosh. Like, it's like, you know, when all the stars kind of just align, and you're like that light bulb goes off and you're like, what in the heck have I been doing? Like I can, I have my purpose, which is my kids. I have my passion. I like to help people. And I'm like, I need my power. Where's my power coming from? I want to help people. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to be with my children. How am I going to do all this? And then there's Allison who just sends me this email and changes my life. So with that being said, um, I'm not doing my craft business anymore. I do it for fun, but not as a business. I'm excited about Juice Plus. I feel like this is the mission I'm supposed to be on. My children are just on Juice Plus, um, um, an anti-inflammatory diet, exercise, and sleep, and neither of them are on medications at this point in time. I'm on one cup of coffee, which I believe is more of a habit than I need right now, so I'm feeling fantastic. Um, and I needed a job because my husband travels and plays in two bands on the weekends. So I needed a job where I can be the stable parent. I can stay home and juice plus was it all. So it gave me, I can use my passion. I can be my purpose and it can be my power all rolled up in one. So I've been so excited and all I do is to share my story with everybody. Um, I speak from the heart. I'm a very um, emotional person. I speak from the truth and as I'm going through training all I keep thinking about is oh that would help so and so that that would help so and so and I would feel so guilty if I didn't tell my story to them so and try to help them so that's what I'm doing and the team has been amazing um, it's like a big hug like every day because I've always been the cheerleader for everybody and now people are cheering for me and I'm like this is amazing this is wonderful so I'm loving every bit of it every minute of it and I can't wait to even go farther I feel like the sky's the limit and I'm just so excited so thank you for having me I feel very blessed and grateful Yay! <laughs> sorry I said that really fast <laughs> can't wait to meet you. Oh I can't goodness. wait to meet you oh this is awesome <laughs> It's always great to hear from an excited new team member. And that's what they say, you know, get a new team member and everything about your business will be better. So thank you, Holly, for blessing us and being on the team and being a great contributor already. She's already got two new team members and she's almost to VF and she's only been with us 30 days. But like I said, she's already like right on the mission with us. Thank you, Holly. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thank you. Okay. Well, Stephanie Ivy is up next, and she is a kindergarten teacher, mother of three. This is the kicker: two teenagers and a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> she got to virtual franchise in less than two weeks. She qualified her business the next month. I met her at the Dallas Summit. And the Dallas Summit. <laughs> And she is bold. She's passionate. She's not making any excuses. She's, she's doing awesome. So I can't wait to hand it over to Stephanie Ivy so we can all learn from her. So go ahead. Stephanie. Okay, you asked me to um, have to write a few bullet points down. And so I did that this afternoon in preparation. And I'm just going to kind of read them off because it came from my heart. And it's what I've, it's what really helped drive me for the month of January. Um, my first point is remember your why. If you don't have a, a why, get with your mentor or somebody to talk about your why. It really does drive your business and your purpose. My why has always been my mom who had a stroke. And last month I went and visited her and I've been on the phone with her a lot. So it's really driven me to push me forward and go, I, I want to have um, prevention of diseases, whole food nutrition. If I can get that out to people, I've got something so good. How could I not share it? It feels like it's an obligation to me. Um, Amy Goble said it best, I think in her zoom talk, she said, think it and then ink it, you know, and I did that this last month. I wrote down my goals for January and I said, here's what I want to happen. And lo and behold, they all came true plus some. 
So it really is, it really is very essential to write down your goals. Um, at the Dallas summit, there was a couple that talked, a very young couple, and they were talking about how they were pharmacists. And she said, I touched my business every day. And that's something that I've tried to do every single day. I will come home after my son, my two-year-old, goes to sleep and it's finally quiet in my house. Or when I get home from school and I have a little bit of time and I, I either touch base with some potential customers or I check in with customers or I touch my business somehow during the day, some, somehow. Um, events, 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 events. I don't think I can stress that enough. Uh, Stacy Turner is my mentor here in Artesia and we just hosted a salad jar party last weekend at a barbecue joint here in Artesia and we had 50 people come. It was unreal. It's the biggest we have had. It doubled from the event we had past. Um, there were a lot of my friends on Facebook. Um, some people hate Facebook. I, I love Facebook. I don't want to get in the scroll hole though. So I, there was a lot of people that had the flu. And so I reached out to a lot of them and I said, Hey, let me share with you how my family's staying well this flu season, you know, terrible flu season, cold, stomach bug, everything. And I reached a lot of people in January through that. Um, also something else. Uh, let me see. What was another one? Get uncomfortable. Be willing to be uncomfortable. Say yes to things that you wouldn't normally say yes to. You know, it's kind of essential to get out of your comfort zone. They emphasize that a lot in Dallas. Get uncomfortable. We, just move. Be willing to do things you wouldn't do. Um, embrace the no's. You may not like all the no's, but embrace them because they can be a building block for you. They can help you to move forward. Um, relationship first. I don't know who said it, but I heard it on one of the Zoom talks. Relationship first, uh, juice plus second. You know, it's important. People don't want to be sold to. They want to feel like you care. They want to feel like you're being genuine. Um, get to know a person before you sell them Juice Plus. Ask how they're doing. Make a relationship with them before you, you talk them into Juice Plus. And then, you know, Voxer and Zoom, they've been been life-saving to, to hear all the advice from people who have paved the path before me and, and just to hear to be a community and hear the friendships and, and the support. It's very, uh, very essential. Okay, was that it? Then, that was it. <laughs> it. Sounds like she's been a distributor forever, right? Right. <laughs> How long has it been? It's been um, end of October. So October thirty first. December of January. And I mean, listen to her. She's got the verbiage and I'm so proud of you. Because well, of you, Stacy. <laughs> it's That's been awesome. fun to do this together. So great. So great that you guys have just worked together. You're such buddies in the business, and that's what they say. Uh, yeah. like buddy. Hey, my husband's going to work for her husband. Wow, that's great. And her girls <laughs> are in my girls' grades. Both of them. Yeah, they're in the same grade. I love it. I love it. There's <laughs> nothing better. It's priceless. Yeah, nothing better. <laughs> Very good. Awesome. Great to hear from you. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I'm sure it's not the last time we're going to hear from you. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Keep on cranking. Great. Okay, so next, um, I, I like to think of uh, one of, of these next two as the dynamic duo. Like they have turned it on also, um, besides Stacy and Stephanie. Tony McFadden and Emily Rodriguez have really turned it on. And um, I love that Tony has had a goal for this month. And so Tony, you're up next. And she is a homeschool model four, very busy, but she had a goal for this month. And I love that she put it out there and then she was really bound and determined she was going to achieve it. I mean, she was a little mad at the end of the month. She thought she had <laughs> achieved it, right, Tony? And yeah. so I was like, oh no, don't, don't get up obsessed. And um, you know, they, they say that part of feeling good about yourself, feeling accomplished is to put something out there and then achieve it. Then you're gonna feel a sense of accomplishment and then put something out there and then achieve it. So it doesn't matter how big or small, you just keep doing that and you're gonna have that confidence, that sense of achievement, that accomplishment and success. So I'm so proud of you, Tony. And I love the way you put that out there and I love the way you and Emily have locked arms. And so um, before you're done, I want you to introduce Emily and you know, you'll, you'll know okay. more about Emily than me. So first of all, tell, yeah. <laughs> tell us about your day and how you're fitting in. And then tell us about yeah. how you got to so rocking this month. 
Okay, well, I think I had a mind shift somehow <laughs> for January. Um, my husband and I, and really my four little kids too, even the three-year-old, we, for the first time, we did a, um, sorry, I can't see people for some reason. Am I not, am I still muted? No, no you're good. You. Oh, okay. All right, now I can see faces. I was like, <laughs> Is this better I can't for you? see faces. That's awkward. Okay, so um, we all did vision boards, and I wrote down all my goals, and I have it actually behind me, that pink one back there, and the yellow one's my husband's. And so I wrote down these goals, and I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. Like, no more excuses, <laughs> because I homeschool all four of my kids, and they're seven, six, five, and three years old. I'm going to school myself to get my master's in counseling and <laughs> my kids are all in activities. So it's like, it could be, it'd be easy for me to make excuses. But um, for the past couple of months, I just hated hearing my husband say, we got to be careful with money this month or we got to be careful with this. And I'm like, we can, I don't want to live like this. Like I just don't. And then my why became bigger and all of a sudden my why from mentally came to my heart and I was like, I just want more for my family. My husband works so hard. He's an amazing leader. He supports me with juice plus. I'm like, I'm doing this. I don't care what I got to do. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out. And so I um, decided to do my first healthy revolution party. And okay, no one came. Like, no one. And I, like, everyone was like, I can't come, I can't come. I, I, like, cried for, like, 20 minutes. And then my husband was like, all right, get moving. Do something else. <laughs> Don't stay. Like, let yourself cry. Even I talked to Jules about this, and um, she encouraged me. You're, like, you're in a crossroad. You can either stay and grow in this, or you can figure a different way out to do this. And I remember Kathleen Lee hearing her um, – on her Zoom, she said, write down, your goals are something that you can control. Everything else you kind of got to let go. And so I said, I wanted to have an event. I tried to. I can't control people coming or not, um, but I can control how I respond <laughs> to people not coming. And so I just figured out a different way. I did a live video. I joined the 90-day game. I wasn't there for the first, I think, week or two, but then I started doing all that activity and I'm like people were just coming out of the woodworks people that I had I talked to like long before um started um contacting me and then I decided to do the shred and do it a little bit more consistently as well and so people were seeing that and um people were responding really well to my videos too just saying you know I just gravitate towards your videos for some reason, you know, and I'm like, okay, and they're like, I want to um, do the shred with you. So I was like, okay, this is so awesome. And so I just kept all of a sudden I had 12 customers. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> like I've never had this many in my entire two, almost, it'll be two years in April that I've been um, a part of Juice Plus. And then all of a sudden I'm realizing like, oh my goodness, Juice Plus is a gift. Like I'm not just trying to set tell people something like this is changing people's lives. This is helping the, their kids to eat better. And so the why kept getting bigger. And I realized Juice Plus is bigger than this. God wants people to be healthy, not just spiritually, but physically. And this is an amazing gift. And so I want to carry that through for February. Um, my husband, I wanted to get a lot of samples and he's like, okay, just, just get it. So I got like every sample. <laughs> Because he wants to see me move forward, too. And that's so amazing to have my husband who is so supportive in that. And so I think it's really important, kind of what Stephanie was saying, too, that your why has to reach your heart. And, like, and once it gets there, I think like you're unstoppable because that's going to push you through the difficult moments of like people not coming to your events. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to have another one. So... <laughs> I'm just going to keep having them anyway until people start showing up um, because I want people to know as well as like, I'm not a person who's going to give up. And then my team will see that as well. And so when they're in places where they're stuck, they can say, well, she's been stuck before too. And she kept going. So it's not just about me. 
you know, it's about everybody else that you're affecting. So I'm just so thankful to be a part of this community. And I'm so thankful for Emily because she is a stinking <laughs> rock star and she is hungry and she has kind of the same mentality. Like I'm going to figure this out and I'm going to do this. And she's a mommy of two and, um, her baby is so cute. Um, Nolan, right? Noble. Noble, that's his name. <laughs> and Chosen is her daughter. And um, Emily took a little bit of a break for a little bit um, when she joined because she had the baby and everything. And then she came back in like full force. <laughs> it was like we just linked arms and we help each other just think on what is true and not just make decisions based on our emotions because. You know, in this business, it's up and down, and she's just been an amazing friend. And yeah, I just love her so much, and God has good things for her too. So, Emily, awesome. <laughs> Did I talk really fast? <laughs> love it, love it. And and I I looked up Emily's numbers, and ever since you restarted, Emily, you only have three hundred more to go. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, wait, but in like. Two days, I only need like 56. I called the company today. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not up to date. I knew you were. Yeah, I was, no, I wasn't up to date either until this afternoon. And then I was like, oh, I was screaming, acting crazy. Oh, wait. I forgot one thing. Yeah. I forgot one thing. My goal was to qualify on my own for the yes. first time. And I got, and I got to that goal. So Yay! Yay! that was that goal to be customer qualified on her own, not to use, yes. use her team members. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, Emily, so tell us what got you so excited or, or just tell us how you got so many customers. We did hear about the in-home Zoom where Kirsten mm -hmm. um, zoomed in to your healthy living party or whatever you want to call it and Tony was there and that's mm -hmm. the last we heard. What happened since? <laughs> it's been cranking. So that's really where it all started. Um, I signed back on like the end of December and then we had that zoom, um, you know, Kirsten zoomed in. We had 13 people smushed in my, in my living room. And, um, I, it's so funny. Because I know I'm kind of, I'm going to talk really fast because I have a lot to say and I'm very, very stinking excited. Um, I had 13 people. I walked away with four trio orders and four, um, children's health studies, which was the biggest thing that's ever happened to me because you know, I'm still DD, you know? So like I left DD, I'm DD still. Um, and, uh, I'm still doing follow-ups from that event. So even like, you know, let's say four, you know, four trios, that's four orders, but I'm still doing follow-ups and I'm still getting orders from that event, which is pretty amazing. Um, and I saw, uh, Christy, who's on here, she's my first team member. She signed on right around Christmas. So that's like so exciting because she's my first team member ever. And then Cynthia's on and she just signed on, um, on Saturday. And, um, she, this is something that I really thought about. Everybody that said they were going to come, they weren't showing up, right? So I started texting them and saying, hey, we're, the event's about to start. Where are you? And it's so funny, Cynthia, I'm going to put your business out there. She was like, I'm cleaning my bathroom. I totally forgot. I was like, put down your brush, your scrub brush, and your cleaner and come to my house. And she was like, okay. I said, I don't care if you're late. And she came and she asked some questions. And um, what I've also kind of acquired this month is that um, I really am on a mission to... Um, knock out financial issues for people. So that was one of, um, you know, that was one of her issues. I mean, she's a, you know, she's a single mom with two girls and she was like, I'm really interested. I just don't think I'm going to really be able to fit it in. And I thought to myself, I'm never going allowed, I'm never going to allow somebody to say that to me and not offer them the business because everyone should be able to get healthy and everyone should be able to buy juice plus. Um, and everyone should have that opportunity. So giving them the business is the best portion, right? So she actually signed on on Saturday. So I, th I just thought that was awesome. Like that was so much better than cleaning your bathroom that day. So she came, right? So now she's my team member and I'm super, super, super excited for her. And she's, you know, going to start the trio and we're going to fast track her. Yes, Lord. And so um, I also wanted to share a few things that I'm doing, you know, every day because I don't have Facebook. I don't have Facebook y'all. So my business is a whole other monster, right? Um, so, um, let me see. I wrote notes. I'm stepping out in the grocery store. Um, every time I leave the house, I have samples. My husband always laughs because he's like, where are you going? 
where are you going with your, with your, uh, you know, your, your cards and your little brochures. I'm like, you don't know what could happen. You don't know who I'm going to run into. Um, <laughs> that's been awesome. I shared juice plus with my pediatrician last week and I have a follow up for tomorrow and it was like an amazing just response. So I'm really hopeful for that. Um, and I got to find out that, um, she has a daycare. So I'm like, Oh my Jesus. So, you know, I talked to her about the business like, right away. Cause I was like, this could just be amazing. Right. Um, and I learned every day I'm, what I'm putting in, I'm getting out. So every single day I'm listening to product videos every single day I'm on mission driven. And while I'm cooking, I'm listening. You can ask my husband. So it's like sermons about Jesus and juice plus product videos. Like that's what's <laughs> right now and that's what I'm putting in so that's what I'm getting out so when I have conversations with people I can be pleasantly persistent because I know what I'm talking about and I'm leaving I'm leaving the 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 main medical issues and the 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 facts to um, the professionals but I have to know what I'm talking about so when something comes up it's easier than I get stuck or I have to go to boxer right away and ask the question um, I've also learned that there's a split second where I feel the most fear. And if I don't move in that very moment, I'm going to lose this person. So I've learned that when my heart is beating, I have to do this thing. I'm like, Emily, do it now. Because like, you know, the pediatrician was standing there. She had her books. She was ready to go. And I was like, wait, I have something to share with you. And it was like the most amazing moment. So I'm realizing that I have to take that split second and I have to just, just fight that fear monster and go ahead and just do it. And the worst thing they can do is say no. Um, something, some things that I've been talking to myself about, two things. Um, Jules said something last week. Um, never make a decision for someone. Always give them the opportunity to say no. Don't prejudge a situation. And that has stuck with me because the fear will tell you that they, that they don't want it. The fear will tell you that you're going to look crazy. The fear will tell you that they're your friend and you're going to scare them okay, they're going to say no, whatever. They're going to watch you. They're going to watch how great you look. They're going to watch how great you feel. And then maybe somewhere down the line, they'll order, right? Or they'll come on your team. Um, so that no is not that big of a deal. You know, fear, uh, false evidence appearing real. It's something that, it's something that maybe not, it's not even that serious. Um, so I got really, really familiar with uh, Campbell Team um, website their resources. I'm listening to the boxers. I'm making sure to be on here as much as I can. Um, I'm saving stuff in my notes and I'm just really educating myself. Um, my last little page, I went to a little regional um, up in North Jersey on Saturday and it was like a mini boot camp. It was fabulous and I learned so much. Um, that was a big step for me because I was really nervous about going by myself. And um, I'm a person that hates baby showers, which means I hate going to things where everyone knows each other and I don't know anyone. I don't like people talking around me. I feel very uncomfortable. And God just sent me like the coolest people. They were like loners that showed up and they all sat at my table. And I got to learn about what other people are doing and they're just killing it. And the atmosphere was amazing. Um, I found out that there was this Dr. Raza, I think he knows Dr. Mitra Ray. And um, he said that she opens up Omega capsules and puts them around her eyes. I was like, OMG. Yeah. So <laughs> everybody put that on your face because as soon as I get those Omegas, I'm putting them on my eyes every single night. Um, and that's like an inside thing. So I had to share that because he knows her personally. And they're both, they're both like Bengali or something. I thought that was amazing. So I took a whole bunch of notes. I came home. Cynthia signed on. Um, I even spoke to the one waitress that was in the room. There were 70 reps there. And I went to the one waitress and I was like, has anybody talked to you? Cause I'm thinking they like just jumped on her. Right. She's the only one in the whole building. That's not a rep. And I had a really great experience with her. Um, I'm just utilizing three way calls and investing in samples and doing everything you guys are telling me to do. So that was a mouthful, but I'm so just so excited. So that was it. Wow. I think I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just ran a marathon. Yeah. Wow. And that was three minutes. I timed myself today, maybe four. I wasn't timing. <laughs> Everybody was okay. enjoying it. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. You did a great <laughs> job. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, she's a firecracker. But yes. We've got, we've got the team of firecrackers. <laughs> look, at to the, look at the chat. <laughs> I know. The chat is loving you. You're awesome. <laughs> And I'm sure you're not going to be 
this is not going to be the last time we see you either. No. Oh my nope. gosh. Okay. This is so much fun. Okay. So I, I'm like, you took my breath away, Emily. Okay. So focus. Michelle, you're going to introduce our next firecracker because you guys have been buddying up, right, Nicole, and having an awesome time. And so I want you to give us the inside scoop on how our firecracker in South Florida has been doing. She's a mom of three and um, she's been hitting the streets a little bit. Go ahead, Michelle. Yeah, we, we have literally been hitting the streets, but the legal way. Um, <laughs> Nicole has just inspired me big time over the past few months with just the ideas that she's come up with and the, uh, the fact that we can collaborate together. Um, we probably live like, what, around 45 miles apart, but it's not that bad down here in South Florida. And so we've come up with some ways to get our, get our names out there, meet some new people, get into some new networks. And so we have literally been, <laughs> she has packed up her, she has two tower gardens. She puts them in her minivan perfectly and she travels with her tower garden. So if there's an opportunity, she can just pop her trunk and have a conversation. It's been amazing to just watch. And on Friday, we did something else that was so cool, but um, she's really been just, she's on fire right now. I truly believe she's on fire. I see um, great things happening for her because she's just doing was not comfortable, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> she's just like taking the bull by the horns. And it's funny because I'm her upline, but man, she's inspiring me to be braver than I've ever been too. So it's been awesome to be hanging out with her these past few months. And I know she's been partnering up with also another sideline buddy. So just creating events and buddying up, it, it definitely gives you um, even more drive than you typically would have. So Nicole, I'm gonna turn it over to you. You have just been doing some phenomenal work and I hope you took notes because I can't even remember all the things that you've been up to, but it's been really great. Well, thank you, Michelle and Sharon. Um, and I'm very happy to be here and meet all these new team members. So exciting, oh my goodness, I have a big shoe to fit after Emily. Um, so first and foremost, I want to just throw out there, I'm not even near close my, um, another, my um, next promotion, but I do feel that I have, like Michelle said, I, I feel like I am on fire myself, so that gets me very excited. And I have to share that what got me to this point is that um, I'm an overachiever. I consider myself an overachiever and being in the business for so long, to for my opinion, and now being able to achieve where I wish I would be, um, it got me really, really down to the point where I was losing the hope, like, oh my goodness, this cannot be. I, I was thinking very close to having to find another job because I was not financially there and I was just not feeling it because I've, I've believed in the company, I've believed in the business, I've believed in the product, I've, believed, I've been doing all these activities and events and nothing has come um come to to where i wish or not even close to like no action whatsoever i mean i'm putting a lot of action but nothing is coming in return so it was not until last year that i joined this group um called celebrate recovery and it's all about god and it's about um hang-ups hurts and habits so it has been polishing me growing my confidence and polishing my identity through christ and that has been amazing because knowing who I am and actually my purpose and that he is always going to provide, I don't have to do this on my own, which it was just happening. I was doing it all on my own because I can do it. I said I will and it's going to be done and it was not being done. So he put me in a position where he was just showing me it has to be on my terms with me. You have to trust me. So it has been a very slow process. Like, from doing, 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 all the way to quiet time and reflecting time and all about him and all about me and learning of me more and letting a lot of fears go, which I never thought I had because I was still doing events. Um, but that has been amazing. Um, not, now, although I still have fear on sharing or just talking to strangers because I'm to a point where I'm just doing cold market, Facebook has not worked much 
much. Uh, yes, people are following me. People know what I'm about and what I'm doing, but that has not opened, you know, to, to get people to say, okay, I want to join you or just do the product. Yes, I know it will happen. Um, I've been, I have to be out there. So um, during, during this process, he has also published my why. Although, yes, at the, be the beginning and still is my financial freedom. Who doesn't want that? Yes, I'm, you know, that's my biggest and number one goal. Um, also being home with my kids that I'm so blessed I'm here and I have that flexibility and, and freedom in time to be with them. Um, he has let me know that it's not all about that. It's like they were Emily and I think the other lady was saying that it's about having a bigger purpose. So doing, during this course, uh, um, the, the, recovery he gave me the revelation that it's not even the money because he will always provide and he even if I don't have a check next month I won't I won't start so he was he has just let me know that it's about doing the right thing and serving him through serving people regardless of the outcome so it's like like they were just mentioning is just doing the right thing by sharing and just sharing my story or sharing just what I love about this community because now I'm doing the business and the product at the same time because who wouldn't you know it's just a no-brainer and so that has got me very excited that's number one then number two finding a body finding a body has been a huge impact in in me and also how I you know do events because Having someone who can share with you and you have that accountability every day where if I don't if she doesn't hear from me, she will reach out to me, what are we doing? Or you know, planning the calendar together is just much more fun. And just going out together, like Michelle, is just much more fun. Writing together and like um, the other day we were literally just walking around this plaza and we hit the first snow and the lady was very rude. And Michelle was the one who approached it. So on the way out, we'll go to another door and office. And she goes, oh, no, no, it's your turn now. And I said, oh, okay, now we're sharing the punches. Like we were like, oh, my God, what's going to happen next? But it was so much fun. When you're by yourself, it's like, oh, at least when I'm by myself, which I have done it by myself, um, it's like it, it's all in my mind. Like, oh, my God, what did I say wrong? What, why, why this outcome? Why did I say this or that? So having a body has made a huge difference. And then the third being bold. I just read the, 40, um, the five second rules, which I have heard her and they have mentioned, they, I think I heard her from her at the last um, conference, but I got the book and it's, a, it's, it, 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 it reads very easy. And it, she shares a lot of stories on how her five second rule has made an impact to so many people in so many different ways. So one of the things that really stood out to me, and it's at the very end of the book, is that um, fear or anxiety, the body um, senses it the same way as um, excitement. It's all the perception. So when we have anxiety or we fear, we sweat, our heart just starts um, beeping faster, and, and we just have all these emotions as if we having um, excitement. It's just the way what we are telling ourselves so she was saying that when you are in that um, scenario where you have fear or you just have anxiety for whatever reason you just go five four three two one because you cannot go any further than that you have to make an action and she says that there's scientific research where it shows where it works in your mind and you just start saying i am excited for whatever that is the anxiety or the fear so i was telling the kids the other day i was putting the tower guard oh Oh, uh, Michelle, because we were going to Wynwood, and I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited to share with these people. I'm so excited to see the outcome. What's going to happen? Us walking that those sidewalks that are very uneven, what's going to happen? Not only with the tower garden, but people looking at us. But it was so much fun. So that has made a huge impact. And, um, and, and I'm very excited for it because of also having all this um, transition within me where he is publishing me. I can see where I am connecting more and I am having more real conversations with people rather than just following my leaders, which is okay. I've done it and I've learned so much from them, the lines and everything, but now I'm connecting more and I am attracting the actual people that I want to or I wish I can, I will be working with in the near future. So I'm very excited for what's coming next. <laughs> yeah. 
Thank you, Nicole. That was great. I love that you guys are including like the things that have really helped you, you know, um, besides just getting out there and doing it. You're, you're doing some, some things with your mind. You're getting your mind right. And that was very helpful. So helpful, Nicole. I can't wait to read that book. Deanna Christofferson just mentioned that on the call before this. So that means we all got to get it, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I can't wait to see even more pictures of you out with your tower garden. That's amazing. I'm sure that you attracted a lot of attention. <laughs> okay. Well, wonderful. And, and these people have all gotten so many customers this month. And, and Nicole, I actually, I know you said money doesn't, isn't your, um, whatever, isn't your, oh, no, it is. it is, it is, it is, of course it is. <laughs> While you were saying that, before you were saying that, I looked up your paycheck because I know from your attitude and your actions that your paycheck had to have gone up. And I just looked and it, it's doubled almost since last month. So, yay. Okay, so these are the things I like to do. Okay, anyway, um, that makes me so happy. Next, we're gonna hear from our veteran who is the queen of getting customers and um she does a lot of events she has two kids you guys probably know who she is she had 16 customers this month definitely want to hear how she does it she, she's very i think tedious about following up and she's really good she's got systems in place and so karen we are dying to hear from you and always always want to know what you're doing so please share with us Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how I follow after <laughs> after Stephanie and Emily and everything like that. You guys were so, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh. I want to clone everybody that just booked. <laughs> I know. Um, you know what? Well, it got me excited. I have a sales background, which is not a good thing. We always say you don't have to be a salesperson to be in this business. And I always say to people, thank God you're not a salesperson because I was not teachable. I was really tough in the beginning. But the one thing that having a sales background did for me is it gave me the tenacity and you know the, to be able to follow up with people because that is what it's going to take. I used to get frustrated when people would say, "Oh no, that Juice Plus stuff, you know, that's not for me," and I would look at them like, "I don't understand. How do you not understand this?" You know, and get so frustrated. And now I'm really in a place where I am. Well, I mean, it took me a few years, but I've been in a place where you know, every, you got to just keep talking to people. You just keep talking to people because in the beginning I would talk to so many people and I kept following up with those people. Well, now I start new conversations all the time and I forget who said it, but I was getting an oil change and I start, I look for people to talk to for, you know, and some of them was eating, I could see it was quinoa and sweet potato and something else. And I'm like, how do I start this conversation? And, you know, I just start a conversation. So just trying to meet people when you're out and it may or may not even lead to anything, but at that, helps you just in itself talk to people so I got 16 customers this month the one thing you want to do is you want to strive to be in the business partner program because you get leads so I got a few of those customers were brand new leads for me so January gets me excited January should get everybody excited because yes, people want to get healthy all year long, but January, everybody's got New Year's resolutions and everybody just blew it over the holidays and they really get you know excited. So I got four customer leads from the company of people ordering either shakes or trios or something like that. And so I love following up with those people. And then some of them were customer customers that I had. And I have been talking to them about adding other products, you know, add, let's add in the vineyard, let's add in the shakes. And so a couple of those orders were those. And then a lot of them were actually kind of like what Emily said, people just weren't ready a while ago. And guess what? After seeing me on Facebook and they don't like, and they don't comment. So you don't think that they're even watching you on Facebook. And all of a sudden I would get a private message or I would get a text or somebody would reach out to me and call me and say, okay, yes, you know what? I want some samples of those shakes, you know, or yes, I, you know, my kids are always sick. I need to get them on the juice plus finally, you know, and, and not to sound discouraging because it gets me excited. This is how I have so many customers every month is I do talk to so many people and they're not signing up that month. It could be six months down the road. It could be a year down the road, but if you keep talking, that snowball just keeps going. Um, you know, so it's really just, you know, it's just such an amazing journey to be able to look down and, and honestly, I used to always take control of the orders as well. 
So this is the other thing I let go of is I now send people my website and I know probably some of the newer people you're like, why wouldn't you have? So a long time ago, we used to just, you know, I, I don't know. I always wanted to control the orders and saying, okay, give me all your information and I'll place your order. And now I give out my website and I'm not even kidding. I would wake up one morning and I was, you know, oh, I was at 10 customers yesterday and I wake up and there was like two more customers. It was like, oh my gosh, that's so, it's so exciting to like, you know, halfway through the day, you realize you just got a new customer, somebody that was ready to order. So, you know, just reach out and talk to as many people as you can. And I'm more in the cold market right now because everybody pretty much that I know knows I do Juice Plus. So they're either A, already a customer, you know, B, not ready yet you know, or see, maybe they will never get on juice plus, but I can't worry about that. I just want to keep touching the lives, you know, that I can touch and, um, you know, and getting excited about that. Awesome. Karen, thank you so much. I want to ask one follow-up question mm -hmm. that inquiring minds want to know. Okay. Oh, no. so I'm on, or maybe want to know I'm on something already with you. How are you introducing the shake or the vineyard? Let's say the shake I'm on the trio. So I, I don't generally start with a shake. I'm always talking about juice plus first to people. So a lot of my orders when I'm getting people to order is, you know, the duo or the trio, hopefully. And so when somebody does sign up, every single customer gets a thank you package from me. I hand write a thank you note. I send a couple of the brochures. It's the only time I give up brochures. I don't give brochures to anybody else. I send a couple of brochures and I always send samples of whatever they didn't order. So if they ordered the trio, I'm sending them a sample of the chocolate and the vanilla shake. So a lot of times they may not be ready to order right then, but I had met somebody at an ovarian 5k one time and, and within two months she says, you know what? I'm ready to order that shake. That stuff was delicious, you know? And so, um, you know, and I'm so excited. I just got the vineyard gummies because I do have people that aren't on vineyard or they don't have their kids on vineyard. The adult is, but they don't have the vineyard gummies. So I am getting ready to uh, maybe next week to try and do, you know, figure out with my customers who doesn't have vineyard and mail out, you know, some samples to people, uh, some of my customers that way as well. So I always, I give out samples. I give out a lot of samples. Awesome. And it sounds like a lot of people invested in that this month. Thanks to the January mm -hmm. strong and everybody getting ready. So good. I Thank love you. contests. Huh? I said, I love contests too. Oh, I know. We need to have another one before conference, right? All right. Okay. So I want congratulations to Holly. You see her on here. I forgot. She won a hundred dollar conference ticket and so did Susan Dewar. So um, congratulations to our new team members who got that. Thanks for mentioning that, Karen. Okay, wonderful. Well, to close us out is Kristen Bosse. Now, Kristen and I met um, from a mutual team member, Dr. Lisa Sirota, and she was a mommy of patients. And Kristen just kept calling me, I, I need more gummies, I need more gummies, I need more gummies. I'm like, okay, you should really do this with me. Um, no, no, no. No, no, no. I need more gummies. Okay. Okay. So, you know, you got to say it enough times. You can't expect people to become a team member just from you saying it once. You got to, I mean, not that you want to be irritating. Hopefully I wasn't. Um, but you, you know, a good thing when, when you talk to them. And that was Krista. She had the most, um, just congenial voice and she was always happy and she was happy to get her gummies. So I knew she could really spread the word. She is an occupational therapist. I hope I have that right. I always get occupational and physical confused. And then she has three children. So she's very busy, but somehow she made it on the top list for getting new team or new customers this month. So please share with us, Krista and close us out. Hi everybody. Thank you, Sharon. Hi everybody. You guys are a tough act to follow. I had a list of things I was going to say, and I think everybody kind of said them. Um, but before I forget, um, when watching Karen talk to people is magical. I've seen it in action. And if you haven't seen Karen talk to people, you should. Um, it's very impressive. Uh, but when she said the samples, it made me think, when I get my shakes or I get my gummies, you get a little flyer in the box. I save those, and I send those out to people. So you don't always have to spend money on buying the brochures, especially in the beginning, because you know you have to make money to spend money, um, and that might be something that you you don't want to or you don't want to put your money. But they do come free with the product, so that's that's something that I do. I ask my team to do. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I 
got customers this month. They were just seeds that I planted a long time ago. Some of them, one woman actually called me and she said, hi, can I speak to Christine? And I said, this is Kristen. And she said, Karen gave me your number. And she went through this whole thing. And I said, can you tell me Karen who? And it was the nurse at my gynecologist's office who I hadn't even spoken to about Juice Plus. I had spoke to my gynecologist about it a couple years ago when I first, um, or not a couple, I guess almost four years ago, I had like word vomit and I printed every flyer and everything you could think of and I laminated them really pretty and Sharon told me, yeah, maybe you should do that. I'm like, no, it's a great idea. It was a terrible idea. Don't ever do that. And I delivered everything and she was like, thank you. And we didn't talk about it. Well, then the following year, I didn't mention it because I was terrified. And then last year we spoke and I actually brought her the research summary in a binder and I showed I showed this to my gynecologist and she was like, wow, this is great. And it's been a more open dialogue. It took a little while, but now apparently she talked to her nurses and they're sending people to me. So that was one. Um, a lot of people who I think kind of fell to the wayside over the holidays because just financially they were trying to figure out where to put their money. Um, they've kind of come around. I also think I kind of got over myself. Um, I did the Brene Brown program. And one of the things that I've learned about Juice Plus is they really take stock in their people. Um, I've gone to, you know, half of a boot camp. I happened to be in Nashville for the conference and kind of did that a little bit. And I kind of always had like half of the situation. Um, but this last conference, I kind of said, I'm going, the stars align, God has a plan, however you, you want to see it. Um, everything I had planned to do fell away and I was able to go. And I had the opportunity to room with women, you know, three other women that I know, but we shared a weekend together and it was like, we've been friends for years. Um, some people brought babies and it was like, give me the baby. Well, you go do this. Or, you know, it was never, it was just like a family. It sounds weird. And until you experience it for yourself, you really, I don't think you can explain it, but, um, seeing that kind of a community and how they unroll everything or roll out, excuse me, everything for people is incredible. Um, but because of where I was in the company and, and my numbers and things, I was, I had the opportunity to be part of this Brene Brown program. And I kind of went into it kicking and screaming. Um, because it's very intense and they want you to do it a certain way. And I was like, I'm a busy mom. I don't have time to do it like that. Um, but I got over myself and I did it and it has taught me the power of vulnerability and how to speak. I always thought I spoke from the heart, but apparently, I don't know, I'm doing it differently because I've got more customers and I've got people who want to join my team. So, um, it worked. And if you show the company that you want to be part of it, the company is going to return things to you tenfold. Um, that's one thing. One of the other things, so the friendships that I made at conference are amazing and I'm so thankful for that. And I'm so thankful for Sharon and, and so many other people who have helped to guide me. There's not one person that I've ever reached out to in the company that has told me no. They all, whether it's, you know, someone I met through the Brene Brown program, they put you into a pod and this woman you've never met, you would never meet, they're not even local. Um, and we all work together. Um, other NMDs who I've spoken to, they're, they're all um, fantastic, but immediate to me juice plus has given me the opportunity to um speak to friends that i've had for years that you just don't talk five years go by and you might talk five times and now because they've joined my team because they heard about juice plus and they they found love with it now they're on my team we're speaking a couple times a week so that to me is priceless um in and of itself what else did i want to say um I think Sharon used to always say to me, you want to discipline your disappointments. I used to take it very, very hard. And Sharon can attest to this when I would plan an event or do something and nobody would come or nobody would get on and I would get so angry. And I realize now that life happens. Not everybody can get on all the time. There's times I plan to be places and things happen. Um, and you know what? It might not have worked out then, but look, look what just happened. You get a phone call completely out of the blue from somebody that you meant, you know, you spoke to a few months ago. Um, so if you can just listen to what your sponsor tells you, and you know, it might not be, their way might not be your way, but consider their way and see how you can help to make it more comfortable for you. I'm not a huge Facebook person. I'm on Facebook, but I don't post a ton. Um, I do really well in small groups. I prefer to have something more casual, just come over, hang out, salad in the jars. I don't do them very often are kind of more my speed. Um, so find what works for you and kind of stick to it. Did I cover everything? I love it. And how do you feel about the company and your future? 
I want to be an M and I definitely do. Um, I I really value the company. Oh, what what I didn't say before was I'm a I'm a pediatric occupational therapist and I work three days a week. And Sharon always asks me, "How do you fit it in?" And I'm like, "Well, I pray for cancellations so that I have a few minutes to run to like an office or the bathroom or something where I can like shoot a text <laughs> to somebody." Um, I have everyone who's just plus in my phone as JP and then their name so that I'm not thinking like, how do I know Kim? Kim could be 6,000 6, different people. So it says JP Kim or JP Kim prospect or, or whatever. Or if they're a prospect who turns to a customer, I take the prospect off and I just have their name. Um, so I kind of like go through my phone and I'll just do like Wheel of Fortune where I'll just scroll up and I'll land on somebody and that person gets a text. Um, or, you know, what I'll try to do is on days at work that I know I'm going to be, that I don't have a meeting, I will eat my lunch in my car and I'll make a couple phone calls. It really doesn't take a lot of time. Um, if you can dedicate 10 minutes to it, you know, sending out a, a text blitz, that's a long time. So I just kind of, I find stolen moments. Um, I, I heard Julie Herp say one time in a, on a call, cause my kids now, my, my younger two are seven and five and my stepson's older. So he, he understands. But um, when they were littler, they would climb on me and not want me to be on calls. But I remember hearing Julie Herp say that she used to tell her kids, if you give mommy this much time, we're going to do this. So that's what I tell my kids now. I'll say, guys, mommy has to make a phone call, okay? I have to call a customer. Or I'll say it's for Juice Plus. And they know they have to give me that time. And they know as soon as I come out of the door or whatever, um, they're going to get my time. So if you're open with your kids, you know, they're more understanding. And I'd also tell them that my Juice Plus money takes them to Disney. So that kind of helps. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. That's it. I just use stolen moments, and I, I, I believe in Juice Plus, and I believe in the community. So perfect. Thank you, Kristen. I appreciate it. Pleasure. And I know everyone benefited from that, and all of our speakers. You guys are amazing. I, I just am so proud of all of you. And wow, I, I know everybody's thankful. So have a great night and let's just continue this conversation. We will feature so many of you next time too. I, I love hearing from all you guys and how you're out there, you know, really sharing our mission. And, and Kristen, I haven't heard you say that before that you want to be an NMD. I mean, I think this is great for us to talk to each other and I'm just the facilitator. I love it. Love hearing from all you guys. You guys make this business great. So have a good night. Sorry we're up so late, but hopefully you can handle it. Take some extra juice plus. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my eyes. That's right. That's right. Yep. Here's your omegas. Your omegas. <laughs> Love that. Doing so, it. I'm doing, doing it. it. Everybody. <laughs> you need to take pictures. Mitra doesn't have any bags under her eyes. Watch the videos. She don't have no bags. Okay? Sure, you're right. And he straight told that secret in front of 70 people. I was like, oh, I write that one down. I'm going to put in T48. <laughs> 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 eyes. Oh, yeah. Good and <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye.